so welcome back to a Never Fall Guys game analysis video, and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, uh, use these tips to get more crowned, or at least get farther in uh, your Fall Guys matches, and uh, how about we get into it then? So I uh, start off with Doordash. There's not many tips I, or you can't really get anything at all from the initial video. So in this, um, in this video, I am playing with two of my friends. Not gonna talk, but uh, generic gamer and bad underscore pilot thirteen. I have their channels linked in the description if you want to go check them out. And yeah, so uh, most of the time the doors are correct. I choose in the first one. Only two doors are. Uh, incorrect on the first one. Uh, maybe, maybe not that amount on the second one though. Uh, but just, you don't really need to try to guess too much. Uh, if you're all in the front, it can't be too bad to guess though, because, I mean, even if you do guess wrong, you're probably not gonna take too much of an impact from it. So, at some point, the ramp or the ground starts going, or sloping downwards, so then you can jump to gain momentum. At the end, I recommend diving, because you get to the ground faster. But yeah, it's pretty easy to qualify in this. Uh, next round is, round is full tilt. Uh, again, or, well, there's not really many tactics that you can, or, there are a lot of tactics, I'm gonna have to explain going through it, but, uh, it's looking at the video here, you can't really learn too much. So yeah, it's pretty, there is, there's not like many routes that you can uh, follow, but there's some things I can do, like you can get hit by that beam to get a uh, speed boost, uh, you can, then you can jump on this fence onto a trampoline, uh, not the trampoline, the bounce pad, drum, I did mess up. I recommend not diving that much, just in general I guess, but in this one as well. Uh, these little uh, these pillars you can get hit by to uh, get a little bit of a speed boost. And then you can walk around these uh, gates. And uh, cool guy123 here is not grabbing, or he, he is grabbing me a little bit. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> it, I almost do not qualify because uh, Silly Man did uh, decide that maybe I should be grabbed. I definitely don't know him. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not a um, little red arrow over his head that tells me that he's in my uh, uh, game mode, or uh, SWAD, I guess you could say. So you can get a little bit of speed boost from the pillars. And you gotta be careful, you gotta time that really good, because those pillars can really mess you up. And if you do get hit by them, you gotta make sure that you're getting hit at the right angle. Get really lucky there at the end. Or not that, at the end. But yeah, you gotta make sure you time it right when you're getting onto the platforms with them, and you gotta make sure that you're getting hit at the correct angle. Or, uh, you're just gonna have a bad time. <laughs> so, I'm making that, and then we're going on to Hoverboard Heroes so far. Uh, well, every round of this one is actually, um, uh, unique. Or, I've not sold on this channel before. So hoverboard heroes is pretty easy. Some of it is not, though. Mainly the zero gravity areas where I struggle the most, and many others do. But there's uh, some tactics that you can do to make the other sections not as bad. And I have a uh, kind of just a general uh, timing t uh, tip for the zero gravity area. So no matter what you do here, you're probably going to uh, uh, end up actually making it. Past, I'd be surprised if he did not. Uh, in this section, with all the objects flying at you from the cannons, I recommend uh, just trying to get inside of like the giant group. It's hard to get hit by the stuff here. A lot of it just goes flying over the hoverboards, but sometimes there's uh, some stuff that does not actually hit. So I recommend being in the middle of the big group. So instead of going all the way down there, uh, and getting grabbed and like pushed off or something. 
Uh, I recommend just standing up there and timing it right, so that you can get into the hoverboard without having issues. So, when you have axes, just like when you see the axe go by, then you want to jump, is basically how you do it. Because you should be clear by the time you're going past the axe, instead of uh, you getting hit by it if you time it correctly. So if this, you can stand all the way on the right or left side. I wasn't sure about that one, that was the first time I ever got that variation, so I was testing it out a little bit. Uh, you can, you can kind of get a boost if you did what I do. Uh, so I get Lost Temple, which is one a uh, final game mode that I've been wanting to cover for a while, but I just haven't had the opportunity. Well, I did get one recording of the Lost Temple game mode, but and I won. And, uh, but I just didn't really win in a educational way, I could say. It was just a weird, uh, way of winning. It was, it was more lucky than anything. So, nor normally, or like, n maybe like 70% of the time, the north door is correct. Uh, also, if you're walking into these edge rooms from, uh, in s the inner parts of the maze, it's always the north door as well. Uh, yeah, I get pretty lucky. Uh, the bottom door of the final room is never, um, the correct door. It's always one of the side doors, so never try to go for that one. Buy one. There you go. <laughs> uh, hopefully you, uh, enjoyed, hopefully, hopefully you learned some tips. This is a faster video, so I do. Can't really go over too much, uh, detail. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, and uh, comment, and uh, see you next time.